Hello, it's another episode of the Empath Strikes Back, an empath survival guide. Um, uh, this show is all about uh, educating society in regards to what an empath is. We do exist. Um, I've explained it in uh, several shows. If you call it a show, I don't really have any listeners, but that's all good. Um, and if you're listening, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're, you're beautiful. Oh, stop it. Please, please. Thank you, thank you. We have a, a, a very um, energetic studio audience. Uh, it's an American staffy and a couple of crows out on the balcony. So thank you. Thanks again for being here. <laughs> oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. I mean, the crowd laughs for no reason. But anyway, um, uh, what really struck me as an empath, and it's really liberating to come out and say I'm an empath, I think we need to do this, visualize and express your empathy to the world because empaths are so humble, they do not explain to anyone that they feel other people's pain when they hear about it, they really connect with it. It's a, probably a blessing and a bit of a curse, depending on your perspective and the situation. But the rude awakening I had recently is nearly a 50-year-old in my late 40s. Was As an empath, I spent my life thinking, if I make an effort and if I tell people what I'm up to, they will fully support me and therefore it's in my interest to just tell everyone because if I hear someone's doing something, I'll always support them. That's empathy, you know. So the rude awakening as an empath, and I'm mentioning this to educate because it can really hammer you. It could trigger a midlife crisis. It could trigger depression till death because it's a rude awakening that not no one is willing to support you in your ventures in life. Friends, family, relatives, they all may say, oh, you want to make a movie? What the hell? You want to be a script writer? That's, you, you're an idiot. When, you're, when you mention it though, as an empath, you're expecting support and whatnot. Business ventures I've tried, selling shirts, selling a hands-free backwasher. Very rarely do the friends support you. I just thought it was a given that if a friend's having a go at something, you support them. Instead, everyone just wanted free shirts or a free backwasher or whatever I was trying to sell. Very few friends supported me. So an empath has to... Hello, my boy. My boy's just come to say hello. My dog, Satara. Um, uh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He knows when I'm emotional. So he comes and says hello. My beautiful boy. Yeah, my boy. Yeah, my boy. You're my boy. Yes, yes. You're my boy. You're my boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yes, the rude awakening is... And it's a heads up. You, as an empath, you tell people what you're doing, expecting support, because that's what you would do if people told you. But instead, they get jealous. You may not have even succeeded at what you're talking about. Just the fact that you're attempting it, people get jealous and will try and take you down. That's the truth. That's the rude awakening, where, where you spend your life thinking people want to support, they actually want to take you down. This is insight into daily life. Um, daily life can be um, dictated through daily gestures from the common person towards each other. These matter because this is how we can rise above the norm and do something extraordinary um, if that's what you want to do. But you have to keep your mouth shut and just do what you're going to do because if you don't and you're looking for support quite often you'll find the contrary and that's also how you can find out who your friends and enemies are your so-called friends they probably won't support you in your ventures that's a fact and I hope I'm wrong to each person that I'm talking to here but they won't support you um, so they're your enemies put them in your mind as your enemies keep talking to them keep this keep that if you want if they don't get too toxic. But um, they're your enemies. Your friends will be very few, and they're the ones that, no matter how crazy your idea, they'll put a positive light on it somehow and support you in some direction uh, positively uh, in one way or another. 
So anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's always a beautiful day, whether it's raining, whether it's sunny, whether you've got money, whether you don't. It's a beautiful day, and why is it a beautiful day? You have to make it a beautiful day. Life is not easy. You just gotta get up, use fingers to put a smile on your face if you have to. Stretch your mouth out into a smile in the morning with your fingers if you have to, but try and smile. It all starts with a smile. Um, thanks a lot, guys. All the best, have a good day.